Hello developers! Now that we've created our Vagrant file, we can discuss how we manage the power state of our development environment using Vagrant commands. Vagrant up. There are several Vagrant commands that allow us to manage the power state of our development environment, the most important of which is the Vagrant up command. Vagrant up will power on our development environment and run through the following steps. Download the box, if it hasn't been used on the system. Import the box into our provider, if it hasn't already. Power on the virtual machines, always. Run any scripts that we wrote to set up our development environment. The last step happens automatically if the box is imported during this run of Vagrant Up, but can be manually run again later. We'll discuss this in another video. Let's do it now. If we look in VirtualBox at this point, we can see that our virtual machine has been created and is running. By default, the name is based on the directory and the name of the virtual machine inside of our Vagrant file. Now that we've powered on our development environment, we need to be able to turn it off. This is done by using the Vagrant Halt command. If we look in VirtualBox at this point, we can see that our virtual machine is still listed, but is no longer running. We can run Vagrant up again to bring it back up into its powered state. There will be occasions where we need to restart our virtual machine so they can pick up changes in our Vagrant file, or just because they're acting finicky. Vagrant Reload bundles running Vagrant Halt and then Vagrant Up. Vagrant Suspend and Resume Vagrant Halt completely shuts down our development environment. This causes us to have to completely start up the development environment the next time we need to use it, and we might lose our place in our work. By using Vagrant Suspend, we can cause the virtual machines inside of our development environment to be suspended so we can quickly get them back up and running the next time we need them. Vagrant Suspend causes the contents of the RAM inside of our virtual machine to be saved to our computer's drive. If we look in VirtualBox at this point, we can see that our virtual machine is listed as being in a saved state. Then, when we're ready to start using our development environment again, we can use Vagrant Resume or Vagrant Up to turn it back on. The difference between the two is that Resume just wakes up the virtual machines, while Vagrant Up runs the config checks to see if our box has a newer version. In our next video, we'll discuss how to reset our Vagrant environment. Make sure to subscribe to get a notification when the next video is released.